We are getting a SSU 523 826.10 for the wheel angle sensor fault steering detected without steering wheel motion. We're getting that code nine times. I went ahead and jacked up the front of the tractor here. One thing I wanted to check before I get too far along on uh, chasing wires is I want to make sure that we don't have any play in our ball joints causing the tire to actually move uh, when you're not actually turning the wheel because that if there's any kind of movement on the wheel on the sensor in here it'll cause the sensor to turn and so then it'll cause the code for the wheel being turned when not commanded so went ahead and shook the tires made sure nothing was loose everything was pretty tight on this also another thing we'll, we'll go ahead and check is when we pull the sensor out there's a stem in there with a little collar that connects to the sensor itself. Make sure that's good and tight as well because any kind of play there can cause issues. So with that code, it's talking about checking the sensor and the wires. And so I started wiggling the harness to see if I get my readings to change on my display and they would not move at all. And it's kind of a pretty intermittent issue customer he was uh it threw the code maybe four or five times one day and then the next day never threw it again a pretty intermittent problem so i decided i'm gonna start checking my wires from my sensor right here to the uh, ssu controller on the back of the cab i decided i'm gonna do i'm gonna load test them so i've got my jdg 11668 uh, electrical load tester hooked up and got it in the one pin here coming to the back of the track tractor here i've got it plugged in to that connection there and we're doing a load test on individual wires on all five of them and when you do this you got to get a reference voltage um, hook your pin here to the, the one that you plug in the back there you put a load on it and my load was uh, 10.7 and so we got about six tenths of a volt there difference and the spec for voltage drop using this tool is 0.2 volt or yeah, 0.2 volts per connection and so there's two two or uh, per section and so there's two sections in here so that would be four tenths of a volt which would be within spec and so what I like to do, since I'm doing, I'm testing all five of the circuits there, or all six of them, uh, I was comparing all them and they all read about the same, but the one, uh, there's two wires that are connected in here. And on those, the we were getting about a six volt, or a six tenths of a volt drop. So I knew there's something going on with that uh, power wire coming from the SSU controller. So now we're gonna break down the sections and see if we can figure out if it's on the front half of this section to that connector here or if it's from this connector here back to the ssu controller where we're losing our voltage a little bit so i'm getting ready to test the front section of this harness to see if we can eliminate whether it's the front or the back section and the pin or the connector uses a different style pin so i have to use a different adapter and when we switch adapters we always have to get a, a voltage reference and so we're going to hold them together so we're at 12.43 and when i hold it down we're at 10.71 so it didn't change much there with the adapter but we want to make just sure that it was the same and we're going to replug it back in to that connector are we lit up right there We're gonna press and hold our button and we drop about two tenths of a volt there so let's go ahead and go to there's two wires in here that share the same power we're gonna check them both and they're both reading the same there so now we're gonna go ahead and go from the front to the back of the tractor. So we're gonna go ahead and do our reference again because we're changing another terminal. 
and we're at 10.64 so i've got it plugged in the back back there and we're dropping five tenths of a volt in one section so we definitely got an issue between that wire there let's check the second one and same with that one we've got an issue here's a picture of the schematic of the harness that runs to the wheel angle sensor here the two connectors here come off the ssu controller the wires then go through an interconnect which is on the side of the tractor and then it comes down to the wheel angle sensor itself so we had tested all the circuits from here to there and we when we te load tested them we found that the 917 wire which is from uh, pin f and b on this connector here uh, when I would load test them, they were dropping too much. Then we disconnected the interconnect here and tested from the connection here to the sensor. Uh, our voltage drop was within spec there. And then we tested from the interconnect back to the SSU. And that's where we found our issue. We knew it was between these two connectors here. So we'll have to figure out why we're losing too much voltage uh, between these connectors. They do have a splice where it comes from pin F and pin B somewhere in the harness. They connect together and then go into a B3 connect, uh, pin on the SSU. So we gotta figure out, I think we're gonna have an issue somewhere around um, that connection point, be my guess. So we figured it out. It's like I thought there was a resistance somewhere between where the purple wires come through and they tee together and then there's one wire that goes back to the ECU. I pulled the cover off of here and started looking for where it teed together and I noticed right away there was some tape around the harness. So I started undoing all the tape. I could tell somebody had patched something in there and just barely, barely messed with it and it come right apart. They didn't get a good crimp on it. And neither was that one. So that was causing some resistance. They didn't use uh, shrinkable connectors there either. They just didn't get a good crimp on it. Doesn't look like it. And causing resistance on the power wires going to the sensor. And since there's resistance in there, when it would get warm, the uh, voltage would drop down enough that it would change the output of the sensor going to the SSU and so the tractor thought that it was being turned and didn't see the steering wheel move and so then it would throw the code. So we're going to patch this up the correct way and uh, we're going to retest to make sure we have uh, we don't have very much uh, voltage drop anymore. So now when we do our load test we're dropping the four tenths like the rest of them are. We got the wires fixed. We got some new conduit on everything. We got it all connected back up. We're gonna put the shield back on it. We'll clear the codes. We'll test drive it and let the customer get back to using it. See if we for sure fix the issue. But the wire was obviously loose in the connection. So I think we've fixed our issue.